All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Schubert here once again with Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2. I know it's been a while. I kind of got out of the uh, feeling. I don't know. What am I saying here? Holy shit, what are you doing? Calm down here. Calm down. What are you doing? How's it going? Calm down. It's okay. Jeez, I'm trying to do an intro here. Whoa. Trying to figure out how to explain to people that I fell out of love with this game for a little bit. It's alright, girl. Yeah, it's alright, girl. But I did see some posts, you know, uh they were commemorating Rockstar was commemorating RDR2 and stuff or the original Red Dead Redemption, excuse me, on Twitter and stuff like that. And I don't know, it just kind of gave me a little bit of a a push to want to play this game all of a sudden. So I calm my horse down. I don't know what the hell that was Come all on, about. Girl. That's the first time I've seen that. But uh uh, let's see. There's a couple things we could do today. First thing, I think. Been a while, girl. Yeah, it's been a while. Maybe that's why you were so pissed. You're like, fucking get on me. I want to go for a ride. I'm tired of standing here listening to them talk and play music and stuff. Uh, we can go talk to Javier. Although I think that mission's a little more difficult. Actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go try to finally capture Micah or see what's going on over there. <laughs> so if you haven't watched one of my previous RDR2 videos, I did kind of mention that I'm not one for all the crafting and stuff in video games. It's just not within my, my skill set or my forte, as some might say. I'm more into just the story and the shooting and stuff like that. Especially in a game like this, I I think the crafting is cool for those that enjoy it. But I think for me, it just ends up being a distraction. And this game is so beautiful and amazing. I don't, I don't think I need any distractions on little things like hunting down which person, which person, which perfect animal to kill and which plant to pick to get certain medicine or to do this and that unless it's like part of the mission or I really just feel like doing it so for the rest of this video series I'm going to focus more solely on the story and getting through the missions even side quests I'll do but I, I just want to just want to focus on the beauty of the game in general you know Focus less on having to hunt down all the dinosaur fossils and stuff like that. I feel you tickling my britches. What? Do what? I don't. What? How do I get up there to you? <laughs> so many random side quests and people to talk to. Just. You robbed and murdered your way across half the country. Keep your distance. Got okay, wait. Here. Wait, now I'm confused. Did that one reset that it's one? Or is that guy still up there? I've never been more than five miles from home. I don't know. Then there's all those little ones, too, I, I mentioned before, where somebody is being captured and... Okay, I guess that one got reset then. That's sad. Yeah, there's the ones where somebody's being captured, and I think that if you attack, you're basically doing a bad deed. I don't know. I just avoid it. Because you don't know. I'm not the judge. I don't know whether what they're accused of is what they actually did. And unless it's like what happened to me one time where some woman was screaming up and down bloody murder. And it was bloody murder. I'm not really going to intervene. Lots of animals, though. Lots of things you can do. I know, I'm kind of showing the boring parts of the game, just running down the trails and uh, doing the main missions, but it is a beautiful game if you're the type of person that loves to get lost in not only the graphics, 
but the detail of the things you can do, like the, just the detail in the animals that you can hunt is crazy. Oh, great. Great. What's going to happen here? Stop, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Stop, horsey. Stop, oh, horsey. Swords here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Oh, fine. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, Lead the man to Strawberry. You, well, after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll oh, never know. <laughs> I don't even know how to get to Strawberry. I better look at the map. <laughs> oh, that's right where I'm headed. Dude, I could have just pointed, been like, here, it, it's just down this way. Just, just keep going this road. What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. N no offense. Little taken. Being mean, calling me a cowboy? Is that like a slur where you're from? Oh, I remember that! We're on the path! It's pretty interesting. I've been trying to notice more and more the differences in audio quality and recording quality and stuff like that. Uh, like, I did a video on Fable, and you can tell the difference between... It's the same voice actor, but the different clips sound different. Like, one of them sounds horrible. And I'm just noticing now, like, Arthur's audio clip, when he was talking, he sounds like he's in, like, a professional studio, and they matched it out into the environment very, very well. Whereas this other guy sounds like he's in kind of a home studio. Oh, are we close to town? It doesn't mesh with the environment very well. It sounds like he's indoors. It sounds like he's in a room that doesn't even... Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! Okay. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Get moving. Yeah, it sounds like he's in a room without a lot of soundproofing. Whereas everybody else, or most everybody else, they sound pretty good like they're mixed in with the environment well enough. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. <laughs> so scroll back, see if you see if you notice that. Just what he sounds like. I guess I'll go up here. God, so far I hate, uh, I hate running around with the mouse and keyboard. Okay, let's get back down here and go find out what's going on with Micah. It's like we got a butcher there. Back to it, man. Uh, kid selling a newspaper. Looks like a statue. Dude reading the newspaper. Lots of stuff going on. I love the detail in the like, oh, the fence that's on the ground and nobody picks it up. They just run over it. You know, the bridges, the trees, plants, this it just feels like to me it feels like you're actually going through like a, a, a replica town, you know? If you've ever done that before. 
I have. What the hell is it called? It was something out in Massachusetts. Might have even been called strawberry something or other. But, uh... Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to hitch my horse. There we go. Let's go see what's going on with Micah. See if we can get him out of jail. Or if we gotta shoot our way out. Not like I want to. I don't like him anyways. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't want that. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Get off the horse again, damn it. Well, I heard Micah. You think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Shut the fuck up, dick. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. <laughs> I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. What do I got to do? Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. You're a steam donkey. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I pressed the antagonize button. A steam donkey, what the fuck is this? Yes. Basically Hope a big wench. The bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Wouldn't I have to, like, you know, throw coal or throw wood and do all this other stuff? It wouldn't just automatically work. Come it's, on, you, you know, powered something. by steam, as you can see. I would have to do a whole bunch of shit to get that thing running first. Also, why would you park this right outside the jail so somebody could do what I'm doing? Seems a little too convenient, if you me ask me. Here, I'm going to have to find some truther that's going to talk about this and let me know what's really going on. Oh my god, just the controls. Oh, you got to do this. Just fucking press a button and let me do it. Why do I got to hold this, click that? It doesn't make the game feel more in depth, it makes it feel tedious. Get out of here, come on. What? He wasn't no What? He just straight up shoots the dude. Sorry. Come on, Arthur! I'm not good at shooting. And I left my big guns on my horse, apparently. I'm just glad I got this one. It's automatic. Oh, that's a horse. I didn't mean to shoot the horse in the head. Equip bandanas. Tell me, dude. How do I equip the bandana? You have finally lost your damn mind. Let's get out of here. You goddamn maniac. I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? I got more than you Just fucking hit him already.
And I haven't played it in a long time, so now I forgot what the uh, button is for the weird thing. We should be long gone. For the evil eye, whatever the hell. Alright, what takes care of everything? Something in here takes care of everything. Whatever. We're gonna go with that. Did I win? Shit, more of the bastards. I forgot you I have to like... That. Oh crap, I'm out with that gun. Dang it, no! Like my favorite gun too, fuck. All right, this guy's got a gun back here. Let's pick that up. No, oh, pick up the gun, pick up the gun. No, don't you dare drop that gun. Pick up the fucking repeater. Oh my God. Oh, what'd you just call me, a little bitch? Skinny, get out here. Call me a woman. Skinny. That's both sexist and offensive somehow at the same time. <laughs> it ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. That sounded like the same voice actor as Dutch. Should have just fucking let him hung, hang. They had hung. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. I want that bastard dead. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. It definitely wasn't built for this, like, Call of Duty or anything. Yeah, I know how to use the eagle eye thingy now. Or dead eye, whatever. You can go away with the tutorial stuff. I'm, like, halfway through the game. And you're still showing me tutorial shit. Your days are over, you son of a bitch! Your days are over, you son of a bitch! Up here. Come on. I'm gonna get you, you damn Come on, bastard! Stop running! You can't hide! See the horses? Come on! Follow me! No, I don't see the horses. Are there horses? Where's the horses? Gee, you mean this big thing right here? Let's go! Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you wanna get out of here! Come on, run! What are you doing? Oh man, what a shit show. <laughs> Keep I am so bad at this game. There are definitely ones that I'm better at. Uh oh. Especially since I'm using mouse and keyboard and not a controller that's going to have auto aim. Again? Jesus. Uh, fine, I won't put my gun away next time. So, yeah, I still don't quite understand the dead eye thing. Like, do I have to even be close when I'm aiming at something, or what's the deal there? <laughs> Come on, aim at him. There we go. Or is it like once I have the X's, I can just okay. aim away and it'll kill him anyways? Let's get out of here before we get any more on our tail. This is not the guy that I wanted to save. You know that? <laughs> that was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? 
Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you I wish he too. had. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Because they're lovers. I don't know. <laughs> I think we finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Okay, well, something weird happened <laughs> at the end of that mission. Uh, when it got back to the actual gameplay and off of the cutscene, something happened with my recording software where it just started bugging out and freaking out. So I had to start this over again. Hopefully, we're not too far off the beaten path. My horse is around here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know. I, I'm kind of second-guessing my choices in hardware for my recording stuff and maybe even for my graphics card. One or the other is not working well with the other, if that makes sense. But something just isn't going quite the way I think it should. And yeah. I'm having a lot more issues than I feel like should be happening. Uh, of course, I could try OBS or something like that, but... Oh, uh, yes, you can fucking autosave. You don't have to ask me every single time I start playing the game if I can... If you can autosave. Just do it. Just do it! Anyways. I was saying something. Easy now. Oh, I shouldn't have run up so fast. I could have hunted something quick on my way back to the camp. I'm going to have to get myself some more ammo. I think that's like a plant I can pick. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot of the crafting stuff. But back to my original comments. Uh, just something isn't right with what I got going on. What's this guy doing? And I don't think that... Um, OBS would exactly fix the problem. I think that would just introduce other issues from what I've heard. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck around here. <laughs> He's a gold digger. Or, uh, not a gold digger, but a tanner. Right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let the wolf see the rabbit. The wolf see the rabbit? Well, that sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? <laughs> I Let's guess. Give it some of the magic touch. Can I give it a try? Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Anyways, that guy's just gonna do some. Be nice to me. I'm being nice to you. I'm not doing anything to you. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee! I got some gold. Ha 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 ha! Look at this, baby. Ha ha! <laughs> Wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. All right. So can I just panhandle? Panhandle, not panhandle. What what do you call it? Um, sift. I don't, I don't know. Can I do it? No. Thought I could do this. I thought there's a way I can come up and take. Uh. Anyways, I was on a pretty good high after that last mission, adrenaline rush and everything, and then my software screwed up, and now I'm distracted thinking about what I can do better and. What I can change, okay, and if I have to do something drastic like a complete Windows reinstall yeah. and software reinstall and everything else, but hopefully I won't have to go that drastic route. What the fuck is that? So many different animals in this game, it's insane. Uh, but I'm gonna go back. I've wasted enough time here. I'm gonna head back to the camp, load up on ammo and supplies and then go see what Javier wants. Well, it was gonna be a fucking perfect pelt. Oh fuck. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh man. Here I am trying to get a perfect silver fox pelt before I go to camp. I hit the thing the first time, and it didn't... <laughs> Fuck. I hit the thing the first time, but I'm sitting there trying to finally skin the thing after I shot it the second time, and some deer or something comes out of nowhere and barrels me over like that. Oh, man, that is too funny. Anywho, I'm going to take this stuff back to camp. Unfortunately, I missed out on a perfect silver fox pelt, but I don't know how to get that crap anyways. I mean, I did what I thought I was supposed to do. Snuck up on it. I tried to shoot it in the head with an arrow or... Yeah, I shot it with an arrow. And it just... I shot it in the head, and it took off running, so... I don't know what I did wrong there. It's down to a one star, which, yay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I finally got things changed around. Sold a bunch of stuff or donated a bunch of stuff, I should say. Uh, got Arthur changed to a different outfit that's less bloody. Brushed my horse. I patted my horse. I fed my horse. Grabbed extra ammo and all that. So I think we're going to be good to go for this next mission. Now, what was that? Do I dare investigate? Who's doing what over here? Well, let's get our... Uh, Repeater out. Whoa. Damn dirty O'Driscoll's ass what's over here. No one's gonna recognize you when I'm done. Where the fuck are oh there you go. I was like, where the hell are you? Uh-oh. I gotta maintain my repeater, apparently. Oh, so they were trying to rescue one of their own, huh? What's up, dude? I just bet you'll kill a defenseless man. 
I'll let you out. Come on. I ride with Colum O'Driscoll, you fool. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> what the fuck was Gosh. that? <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Ouch. Time to loot the hell out of the damn dirty O'Driscolls. I don't think I've seen a bug like that occur in this game so far. <laughs> oh, that was... I don't even know. That just caught me so far off guard. Uh, but anyways, we're still going to make our way down here to Javier. Uh, I think we're... Are we in the area where we have a bounty? I don't remember. I, I know around the one spot we have a bounty that we can't get rid of. It's whatever Blackwater, whatever station they keep talking about. Uh, it's been a while since I played the first portions of this game, so I can't quite remember what their names are and everything. And I don't think I ever actually beat the original Red Dead. I know that I played a bit of it. Well, here's the post office. Let's see if we can't just get rid of our bounty here somehow. Real quick before we go talk to Javier. Mount up, little horsey. Well, girl. You're a good girl. Go up here, talk to this guy. What's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Um, pay bounty. Can I pay the bounty? Good on you. Get a fresh start. I can't even pay part of it. I don't have enough money on me. Shit. <laughs> okay. Can I... I can't sell you anything either. I have, like, gold watches and stuff on me, but I guess that's not going to do me any good right now. So, I forgot. I thought I had more money in my pocket after I did all that donating. I guess I should have gone to town and sold some things or gone to the fence. I got a gold nugget I can give to the fence. I know that. Make some money off of it that way. But I guess we're just going to have to live with the fact that I have a bounty in this county. That rhymed. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so up now. Uh, I was going to just go right off to the frickin' thing, and now it's like, Well, hey, wait, there's something else going on here again. Of course. Some random event. Probably another thing I can collect. Let's go see what this guy with the question mark wants. You're only making my episode longer, dude. <laughs> of course, so is that flying cart. <laughs> but I can't cut that out of the video. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I don't have it. Morning to you. Oh. Hello. Quite a day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a cat. Oh, 
sneaky one, too. Wild look. A photographer. I hate trying to track things in the daytime. I can't see the trails. So I gotta keep clicking that over and over again. Well, can I not shoot the animal? Come on. Am I just supposed to, like, run up to it? Sneak up on it? What am I supposed to do here? I don't get it. Oh, you send me on this fucking wild, well, wild coyote chase. I almost said wild goose chase. If I take it, I'm not supposed to actually kill the animal. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. Oh, he just dropped it. Okay, well, that's, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I quit playing this game, is it's, there's missions that aren't very clear if you're supposed to catch up and kill somebody, let them go until they hit a certain point like this, and it's actually kind of frustrating to me to have all these missions where what you do doesn't really matter. You just gotta stick with it. Like, you gotta stick close enough to something, and then they'll, it'll end the mission, it'll drop, you know, you'll succeed. It's like, you know, how many GTA Red Dead missions are like that where all you have to do is stick close and that's it. It's not that much of a challenge anymore. And it's getting to be a little bit less fun as they pop up. I got your bag. Oh, good, good. Please come here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Oh, anyways. Yeah, really, that mission as a whole was kind of pointless. <laughs> I mean, it offers a fun little bit of adventure, but... There's no mystery when there's only two possibilities, like I said. Either you gotta stick with it, or you gotta, like, catch up to the animal and kill it somehow, or you just gotta stick close enough. Okay to Hunger. where it'll drop the bag on its own and that's it and it's just i know a lot of other people have criticized rockstar's mission type yeah. over the years and this is the first time i've really started to feel that some of that criticism is warranted because it's just a little repetitive you know and some missions like that where I think, oh, I should probably just shoot the fucking thing. You aim down the sights and you can't shoot. So then you realize, okay, I guess this is just a mission where I have to chase it and that's all I can do. Morning, sir. And hopefully that doesn't happen again. Otherwise, I'll have to restart my recording. But I noticed my frame rate was dropping and then all of a sudden my screen went black. Came back. Were you two like inside of each other? That looked a little weird. You were like morphed into each other. But yeah, you know, I don't have to sit here and criticize Rockstar's mission types. You can probably find lots of videos already that do that. I will just say that for me, some of that stuff is getting to be a little bit bland, as one might say. Now, these guys are way over there. I'm going to look at this map. Because they're way over there, but it's telling me to ride this trail. Which I'm not going to do. I'm going to... going to jaunt over. 
If I were better at riding my horse, I would probably do this anyways. Just run from point to point without going down the trails. The trouble comes in with um the trouble comes in with the fact that there's my frame rate dropping again. It shouldn't do that. Ah. Trouble comes in when you fall off a cliff or do something like that, which I often do. All right, before I join these guys up, I'm going to restart my recording so hopefully I can fix my frame rate issue and we'll see from there. Hopefully it'll save it right here. Okay, I think I got things reset well enough to continue on with this mission. Hopefully things don't get all fucked up on me again. Uh, what am I hitching my horse to here? Whatever, hitch the horse. Hitch the horse, let's go. Make sure... Uh, what do I need here? Long arm, that's a double barrel shotgun. Ah, uh, we'll go with this setup for now. These guns and stuff. In fact, I don't even think I need my gun out right away. Ooh, I better take a... Better take a thingy. Uh, do I not have one that just does the... Okay, well... How about something that's going to increase my core better than that little thing? I don't want to... There we go. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. What you doing, boys? Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just hey. keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. I already had a set of binoculars. I didn't need another one, but okay. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. All right, let's get on our horse to here. Go help Sean. You're a good girl. Find the boat. Oh, we're looking for a boat? Okay. This is my camera so far back. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes ah. open for Pinkertons. There we go. They got That's patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. Okay, the boat was somewhere over here. All right. I think those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Uh -huh. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. 
Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. <laughs> but without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. Anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. <laughs> cute, dear boy. Very cute. See, so much of this stuff could just be one big cutscene. That's part of what Rockstar's most recent games, that's part of what bothers me. And I've noticed Push it more in on. here in RDR2 than anything else. Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. You know, in GTA there's at least more freedom when you're driving the car around town and stuff like that. Here it's like all I'm doing is holding W, and it's locked on behind him. It's like, okay, why am I even doing this then? <laughs> this could just be one big cutscene and get us to the action and let's go. But then again, if they did stuff like that, it would probably feel more like Mafia 2, where it's an open world game, but you don't actually get to explore any of the open world because all you're doing is driving to a mission and driving back home and dropping the guy off again look they've stopped get your binoculars out let's see what we're dealing with here and I suppose it's about six of one half a dozen of the other on this case all right looks like so who are these bounty hunters I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys but I hear they're a big crew and wild Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. Like this part here, I'm not even controlling this, so what's the point? There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Like, all I did there was click the button to zoom in, and then it took over. So it's like, why why do I even have to click the button to zoom in? Just do a cutscene there. And I don't know. <laughs> Just sharing my frustrations with the game. I still think it's beautiful. I still think it's a lot of fun. Just a little bit disappointed in some of the style. Some of the gameplay style, I should say. All right. We do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Oh, yeah. Keep your head. Now, stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take She's the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm Did he just myself. tell me to take the one on the left? Kind of missed that. Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> nice fit you're having there. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. That's it? You're gonna leave us from here on out? 
Okay. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Am I supposed to be stealthy some more? Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Mm. All right, let's take a look here. What we're dealing with, we got. Uh, oh, focus, okay. It didn't help. Got these two up the canyon, but then there's another guy patrolling around over there. Okay, let's get our knife back out. What? 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 How am I? Okay, whatever. I didn't even do anything yet. They just turn around and automatically pull their guns out. Yeah, right. Okay, just automatically reload it. I hate the... That's the other thing. Why do I have to click again to get him to reload it? That should be an automatic thing after the shot. I shouldn't have to sit there and do that. Ugh. Now, doing a full reload, I can understand, just like any shooter game, that I would have to hit R to reload, but... I apparently am not good at hitting anybody on the move. <laughs> Just take all of that there, buddy. Just take it. Just get shot in the face. Alright, I better eat something. Better do something that gets me my inner... Hey, hey, hold on. I'm, I'm eating, dude. I'm eating. Hold on. Let's push up. Seriously, I don't understand. More coming in on horses. <laughs> he just got run over by his horse. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, he's still alive, though. Okay, though, I, yeah, I still don't understand some of the controls, like, first of all, I was being sneaky as hell, and they still noticed me. I see Charles up there. And then on top of that, I get annoyed with the gunplay and how you have to... Come on, let's get up there. Is he still alive? Yeah, I, I just... That bothers the hell out of me that you have to click shoot again to get him to cock the hammer back. That should be built in with the previous shot, you know. Shoot, cock the hammer back. Shoot, cock the hammer back. Not cock the hammer back, shoot. Two more, look out. It just seems unnatural. To me. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. What does that leave the middle for me? Alright. Let me get some more. Let me get something that's gonna boost all my stuff here. There we go. God damn it. Ooh, right in the face. Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Uh, I'm not seeing where. Oh, there he is. I was like, I'm not seeing the guy. Who's got a shot on him? Another one coming out of that cabin. All right, I'm trying to get better at uh, utilizing the dead eye thing there. Although I don't see why it's down right now. Oh, I could have shot all this shit up probably. It would have exploded. All right, I'm going to get down on my pistol here. Just for some different gunplay. Oh, shit. 
I knew one of those would hit you. <laughs> Look, they're running away. Hey, what are you all doing? Okay, let's get Sean. Well, one of you's help me out here. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Okay, I, what? There, I was, I clicked the uh, right uh, mouse button. Uh, <laughs> Drop him right on his head. Oh, that makes me cringe. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. <laughs> oh yes, I get it. You want to save, okay. Jeez Louise. Tomahawk, I got a tomahawk? Was I, maybe on those guys back there, I could have used a throwing knife or something, you know? I, I don't know what I should have done. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I thought somebody came along. How did it suddenly switch to that gun? I had this one in my hand, didn't I? Get off of that horse. <laughs> Good job, guys. You almost had me. Now let me loot the place again. Well, it seems like I have picked up a lot of items I could eventually sell. Uh, a lot of silver pocket watches and stuff like that. Uh, I can't... I don't know. I could look it up, but I don't know if there's any, like, hidden secret things around here. You know, gold buried in a specific spot or something. Or hiding uh, in a specific area. I am just kind of looking around. But as for today's video, I think that'll be it. I uh, did a bunch of looting, did a bunch of shooting. And well, there's still a guy up there I could loot, but I don't want to. And it's a little disjointed, and I got to figure out more technical stuff. Hooray! Figure out why the video was getting laggy and stuff like that at one point. But I think I'll be able to do that. And hopefully, like I've said in my other videos recently, hopefully I'll be able to keep a mix of videos going. Uh, so far, I've got some of this, some Fable, and some Wreckfest going. Uh, I'm definitely pre-recording them, so you know. And... I'm just trying to keep uh, like a backlog, basically, that I can keep putting out every so often. It's a little disjointed because it is just a hobby for me, but I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have yourselves a great day. Oh, you're a good girl. Here, I'll show you. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. <laughs>